and everyone was able to see themselves. So dogs are amazing. Who here has had a dog or had a family dog growing up? Well, I'm one of those people as well. Uh, growing up, me and my family always had dog, dogs. We had Storm, Puppy, don't ask me why we named him that, I don't know why, uh, and Winston. But when I got older and I moved out the house, I decided that I want a dog of my own. Um, not a family dog that we all shared together, but just one that was mine, my own little friend, someone I could take care of, who would love me, all that good stuff. So I, when I decided to get a dog, I decided that I actually wanted a purebred lab. Why? I don't know. They looked cool. So I did some research on it, and I pretty soon found out that I cannot afford a purebred <laughs> puppy lab. They are very expensive. So that's when I decided to look into shelters. And that's when I ran into Rex. He adopted him from the Animal Defense League in San Antonio. Um, I met him. He was adorable. Took him home a couple of days later, and he's an important part of my family and someone I look forward to seeing every day. But during my journey to get a dog, I realized something that should have been obvious right off the bat, and said it's way better, more beneficial, more educated, however you want to say it, to get a dog from an adoption center rather than from a breeder. For plenty of reasons, but I'm just going to go over a few right now. I'm going to look at the cost, the overall health of the dog population, and um, the individual dog health. And that's mainly going to tie into my speech about the breeders as well. So whenever someone makes a purchase, whether it be a car or a new TV, they always uh, take a look into the cost. So let's take a look into why um, adoption is more cost effective. So getting a dog costs less um, from getting a puppy. I'm sorry, adopting a dog from a shelter costs less than getting a puppy from a breeder. So dog breeds can vary by price. Um, they range. You can spend up to as much as $1,500. So right now, that is the asking price for a Rottweiler puppy. I'm not, I think, believe it's in Vermont. I forgot my source. But you can, and that's just for the dog. That's not for the cage or food or toys or anything else that it needs. That's just for the actual animal itself. Pet adoption fees, on the other hand, only cost usually around $100. So the reason you pay so much for uh, a dog from a breeder or a puppy from a breeder is because it's considered pure. It looks a certain way, pretty much. Um, but with the pet adoption uh, fees that are around $100, you get the dog, but you also, they usually come with, their include vaccinations as well, uh, microchips. Um, and another reason that getting a dog from a uh, shelter is more uh, cost effective is because most dogs uh, that are adopted or are waiting to be adopted are already house trained. So that saves you the money from having to pay someone to train them, or the time you have to spend yourself training them. And I trained a few puppies, potty trained. It's not fun. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of waking up in the middle of the night. So you can get a dog that already has that, you know, already trained. It's a better way to go. So we talked about how much more how it's more cost effective to get a pet adopted rather than from a breeder. But not only is adopting more cost effective, but also helps with the overall health of the dog population. Um, many shelters take in stray dogs or dogs that have been given away for one reason or another. Um, some are forcibly surrendered. Parents buy a kid a puppy for their birthday. Kid doesn't like it. Kid doesn't help take care of it. They decide they don't want it anymore and they surrender them. And unfortunately, those end up at the shelters. Or a stray out there already has puppies, um, they get separated from the mom, uh, somebody happens to walk by, sees them, picks them up, takes them to the shelter, uh, rescues the animal. Um, unfortunately, because adoption centers are so full, they do have to turn away animals. Um, they just don't have the room, the resources, or the personnel to take care of them. So when you adopt a dog or an animal from a shelter, it frees up that room for strays or any other rescues to come in. It gives people a place to take their dogs, um, and it also helps with the overall um, stray population, um, which in turn affects us, because I'm sure that you know, there are strays around, it's an uncomfortable situation, it's a little scary sometimes, you don't wanna be near them. So people adopt more than they would free up their room for the strays. But adopting dogs not only helps the overall health of the dog population by decreasing the strays and giving rescues a place to be, it also helps the individual dogs. And so this is what I'm gonna talk about uh, 
free experimental phase. So adopting would help stop breeders, when you buy a dog from a breeder, you are helping to support their business to continue breeding puppies. Whether you agree with it or not, um, whether you agree with ethics or not, if you give them the money, you are supporting them. Um, and unfortunately, many breeders do not house puppies in tolerable conditions. Um, to a lot of them, they're just product. Um, their goal is to make a profit. They want to breed as many puppies as they can for as cheaply as they can and unload their product. And so they overproduce dogs, and when puppies are being raised, they're not adequately socialized, and they're not given the health checkups that they need or the attention that they deserve. Um, they're crammed sometimes very tightly in cages. Sometimes they'll just have enough cages for them to be able to move around. Um, because like I said, they really don't, they're not really into the well-being of the animals. Um, they're more into just making money. Like they're a profit to them. And while some breeders may be legitimate and genuinely care about their dogs, a lot of breeders do not. As you can see, there are plenty of reasons to adopt a dog and not buy from a breeder or a puppy mill, including the cost, the health of the dog population, and helping to stop breeders. Unfortunately, it's estimated that a million dogs are euthanized every year in the United States because they're not adopted out, unfortunately. It makes much more sense to adopt a dog from a shelter. But it's not just about saving money, it's not just about um, helping the overall health of the dog population, and it's not about sticking into breeders or trying to take away um, whatever profits they're making. It's about going into a shelter and taking a dog home. They didn't ask to be there, and they didn't plan for it. They're either given away or they're born with no home. Like I said, Rex is an important part of my family, and I believe that the relationship is even more special because they gave a dog who had grown accustomed to not having a home, a loving home. So I would encourage anyone here who is thinking about getting a dog to research adoption shelters first and not breeders, and to get an animal who was just patiently waiting in an adoption center for their home. I did that very thing and I believe it was one of the smartest decisions I ever made. And I wanna leave you with one last piece of advice before I uh, finish up here. Is that when you get a dog, I would advise you not to look at it like you're getting a new toy or a new TV or a new iPhone or anything like that. I would implore you to look at it as though you are saving a life because when you adopt, that's what you're actually doing. Thank you. Mm -hmm.